Hey everybody, welcome to our latest video, the um, Christmas decorations and our adventures at the Animal Kingdom launch this week. Just a little bit of housekeeping, I made a total mistake as I'm prone to do. Uh, in the beginning part of this video, I keep referring to Kidani Village as Jumbo House. You'll see at the front, we do have a Kidani Village sign, but then after that, I just keep saying Jumbo House, Jumbo House, Jumbo House. Everything you see up until we make the transition over to the actual Jumbo House is actually Kidani Village, so... I apologize for the confusion, and with that, let's get to the video. Well, I am loving the African-themed reefs over here at Jumbo House. Jumbo House has its own drop-off, and um, I like the modern resorts. There is actually valley parking here, even at DVC. Uh, it's a good to know pro tip, but yeah, look, the lobby here is getting festive with some garland and I think there is a big tree in the DVC lobby. So we're gonna head in and check that out. You gotta love being able to see zebras right from the DVC lobby. He's going out of sight now. But uh, he's not the only guy on the savannah. There's wildlife out here tonight. So even in Jumbo House, the um, the hallways are dotted with these trees. It looks good. It's, there's festiveness everywhere you turn. In addition to animals, most of which we can't name. It's a different angle on the tree. In again, this is Jumbo House, the DVC section. I'd say this is like a a twenty foot tree. I'd say about. Try and get you guys some close ups of some of the decorations on here. And there's a little hidden Mickey too. Love it. <laughs> Not a bad view for Christmas. We decided to come downstairs to check out Sanaa and the hallway to the restaurant, which again has great views of the kind of safari area. But the whole hallway is rung again with these like African themed Christmas trees. They look so good. It is a nice quiet night at Sanaa, so I think we're gonna go and see if we can get an adult beverage. So as you do, we decided to stop into the, the, the lounge at Sanaa, the bar at Sanaa. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know if you can see it, Amber. I didn't point it out, but over Amber's head, the Grinch stole Christmas on. Is that a Disney faux pas? I don't think so. Yeah, they're allowed to, we can, we can yeah. be friends. Yeah, I think, I think we've got enough room in our hearts for all of the Christmas cartoons. So do you think at Universal Studios, they're showing like Frozen? At the oh, resort? definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay, so Universe is not abiding by this. But yeah, this is our first time in here. Super cute. It's only a five-seat bar. Uh, it's obviously very quiet because it's a little bit early. It's only about, what, 4.30? But yeah, best, best part of the bar is obviously beautiful wife over here. But it's super cute. 
And in terms of drinks, we are getting the African Star Mojito. That's what I ordered, which comes with all this goodness. $15. And Amber got a new addition to the menu, which apparently is almost the number one seller, the Prickly Pear Mule for $16. So typical prices for a Disney lounge. But yeah, it's our first time here, so we're excited to try it. I hope I can capture it. Look at the color of this drink. Um, I know that it's the Prickly Pear it's normally what makes it that like really cool kind of pinky purpley color it's just gorgeous so on the left we've got the prickly pear mule and on the right we've got the african star mule so i think we're gonna try the famous sana Indian style bread service. Here are the different breads and I don't know if you call them sauces, but the, oh, it says nine accompaniments. I don't think I've been more excited this month to, to do anything. Look at this, I feel like we're about to eat a Van Gogh painting. This is the infamous bread service. We've never had this, it's a crime. We've been here two years, we haven't had this, but here it is, and here are the sauces, plus the secret one, I'll tell you about in a second, but these are the, Amber, help me out. These are the... Um, so the first one is a mild sauce. Mild these sauce. These three are um, sweet sauces. These three are savory sauces. And then these three are your spicy sauces. And then the last one is a, I believe he called it the Pili Pili sauce. Yes. And it is made with, is it a pepper? Um, he said there's an ingredient in it that is grown in living the land yeah. over in Epcot Center. They grow it exclusively on living the land. They do not normally bring this to the bread service. You either have to know about it or ask for it. Uh, just when he liked us, he took a shine to us and he recommended it. And I am dying to dig in. And then of course, here's the bread. So, um... Five yeah. different types. And it all looks so fantastic. That's right. It looks amazing. So, I am, like I said, I'm irrationally excited. Let's dig in. Well, the later the evening gets, the more active the animal goes to become. The bread service, by the way, was spectacular. Oh my God, we want to come back tonight to go there again. It was so good. Yeah, but nice view of giraffe. Um, you know, we've been on the safari tour a million times, but we can never remember the name of these animals. So I would love to tell you what it is. But... We've got a giraffe and um, what choosy? Right? <laughs> and look at the view of the lobby from outside. That is spectacular. And there's the Christmas tree. The nice thing about Sanaa is if you're having dinner, those are your windows, and this is your view. Look at the gorgeous. Jamba House sign. They did such a wonderful job for Christmas. So here we are at the main hotel lobby, or the main building, also known as Jambo House. I was definitely messing up earlier by calling... Kadani. Uh, Kad thank you. I still can't say it. Kadani Village uh, Jambo House. It is not. Kadani Village is the DVC. Jambo House is the hotel. Although there is some DVC in Jambo House because... Who's not already confused? But yeah, a lot busier up here. But uh, I would say less decorations than Kidani Village. But I have a feeling the tree here is gonna blow our doors off. So let's go in and check it out. Just walking into the main lobby and that's not what we're excited about. Pretty, but not what I'm excited about.
This is why I got the Jumbo House at Christmas time. I'd say this, mar this lobby rivals the Wilderness Lodge in terms of being impressive for Christmas. Look, there's Garland on the upper decks there. The tree is as large and as grand as any on property. And it is just beautiful in here. So we're gonna explore. I think we're gonna go on the bridge and take a different vantage point of the tree. Go to Victoria Falls Lounge, have a drink, and just take this in. I don't know if this is gonna translate very well to video, but God, the reflections of the tree in the windows overlooking the savannah is awesome. One of my favorite things about um, some of these resorts is they do very unique um, gingerbread displays. So uh, to the left is Ginger Rath, um, who has been here for, it looks like, I think it says this is its third season. And they added Deborah the zebra right there. They're just so awesome. Look at that craftsmanship. I love them. And let me show you the board because the other thing I love about these displays is they frequently tell you what's in them. So that's my favorite part, the sculpting ingredients. 34 pounds of honey, 27 pounds of flour, one and a half pounds of gingerbread spices, one dozen eggs, one pound of simple syrup, 55 pounds of white molding chocolate, and 12 pounds of dark modeling chocolate. I think I said molding, I meant modeling. But guys, look how cool. Well, you know what, it's time to stop off for another cocktail. Look how cool this is. This is the Victoria Falls bar. We're gonna try and get a seat at the bar. This is there, I'll take it right now. But uh, definitely a seat in the cocktail lounge uh, and have a drink. This is, I think, by as far as theming goes, this is one of the coolest bars on property. They just make it so hard to visit this resort, y'all. Hey, Amber. You look very pretty against this backdrop. Look how cool this backdrop is. This is, like I said, from upstairs, this is the, like the coolest bar. Do you love this bar? It's a wonderful bar. I really like how it's situated between like the lobby level and the Boma level. Yeah, like the it's, lobby's up there. It's like on a half level. And Boma. The two. It's yeah. It's really neat. It's super cool. So, but so we made some major life decisions here. Uh, first of all, we, we're picking our drinks on the cocktail menu. Uh, but the important decision we made is we're going to get it to go and take our drinks. Well, you'll see where we're going soon enough, won't you? Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas, Merry Amber. Christmas. So, yeah, while we love the lounge and bar downstairs, um, we had to get our drinks to go because what competes with this? It's so stinking beautiful and it's only like this for a few weeks a year. So we decided to come up here. Look, the, there's certainly plenty of available seating. I don't see any problem with turning these chairs around to, to take in the tree. Um, but it, yeah, we got our drinks. Uh, the plenty of seat in the lobby. And I'm going to go out with the hot take here and say that I think this lobby is decked out better than the, um, or certainly has a cozier feel than the Wilderness Lodge. <gasps> I know that's like uh, controversial, but this one's really winning me over. So we decided to come up onto the, I guess technically the fifth floor, right? Either we're only up three floors up in the lobby, but look at this view, how spectacular is this? This is from the, the bridge in the lobby. And just gives you another vantage point of the tree. side of the lobby. Not much going on over here though. And here we are at the opposite angle. The bridge. I don't know. Can you make it out? Yep. Let me zoom in. That's the bridge. Right 
there. You can just walk across, it's pretty fun. It's not a suspension bridge, it is, it is a straight bridge, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. But yeah, I just feel like there might be a little bit more floor space in this lobby, and they've certainly arranged the furniture, I think, better to maximize space. I think when they put the tree into the Wilderness Lodge, they'd lose some space, so I'll have to get over there uh, pretty soon in the next couple of days to really do a comparison. By the way, here is the pop-up bar um, tree back of the lobby pop-up bar, which is next to their version of a fireplace, which is this big, awesome fire pit. Look how cozy that is. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you made it this far, please go ahead and like, share, comment. Uh, above all else, subscribe to the video. Uh, we're having a great time on this adventure, and we'd love to have you uh, along for the rest of our journey. Um, hope you're having a happy holiday season. And as always, have fun storming the castle and stay magical. Thank you so much for watching.